Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I am Lutra FM. And where you left us off last, we were went on a winning streak. We won three one against Greenwich Morton in the League Cup second round, and then we beat Dundee two nil and Dundee United two one in the in the Scottish Premiership. So a good little episode. Um, we've got Motherwell, St Mirren, and Aberdeen in the next in this episode. Maybe Livingston, depending on how quick we can get it through. Um, but we just, I think we just, I, I forwarded it because we didn't have a game for seven days and it took a while. So I'm assuming it's because of, it might be the end of the transfer window. Um, I wasn't really needing anybody other than maybe a right back backup. So I've tried to sign uh, a right back, backup, backup right back, sorry, uh, for Rui. But yeah, but we should be all right anyway because... Yeah, but we'll be all right. So I'm just working through these now. Could do with cover on both both defensive flanks now. Oh, has he gone to the centre? We could have done with bringing him out. Can we bring him in on loan? No, we can't. He's gone on loan to St. Gallen. That's a shame. I didn't know he was available or else I'd try and sign him. Why are we sending him out alone? We need him as back up. Uh, Rue got the young player of the month, which is good. Uh, Maldini got third place and goal of the month. Uh, I tried to get him on our own, the Canadian fullback, but we didn't have enough money. Oh well, we're just stuck with what we got then. Ah, then again. Is he a left back? Oh, he's a left back, so that's good. So that's him sort. We got him, we got that sorted. Hold on, no, we've got loads of left backs. So we, I'd sign one a minute earlier. Last episode, sorry. Um, I need right back cover, don't I? Right, so transfer window closed. I suppose we have got this player here, Julio, even though he's not very good, but at least he's a right back, I suppose. All time to keep. Oh, okay. Uh, Ross Bowe, appreciate it. Okay. We'll try and get you a loan at some point. Might be too late now with the transfer window being closed, but I think the loan window is still open, but I could be wrong. Ah, oh, damn it. So they're going to sign him on a permanent deal. Oh, well. All right, Dundee... I'm um, sorry, no, we've already played Dundee United, no, sorry. Motherwell in the first game of the episode. Let's start the episode with a bang. Glad to get Monday out of the way, though. Monday's always the worst day of the week. But at least it's over with now. And we, we're closer to the weekend. All right, so... Diara's making his debut. And then the rest of the team is pretty much the same. Let's see how we do. I did like um, Lujo's video the other day and uh, he was talking about Motherwell and talking about their kits and he is right in what he's saying. The away kit's meant to look different than the home kit. Oh, one nil down already. 
And uh, Motherwell's away kit is basically the home kit, but they just swap the colours, the main colours around. So it's a bit, no. You should, uh, yeah. Then again, there isn't going to be many teams that are going to have the same colours as Motherwell, are they? It, they are, unless they're playing Bradford, for instance. Um, there's not many teams with them colours, I don't think. If you know any more, let me know. Come on, let's get back in this game. I know it's only 11 minutes, so I shouldn't be panicking too much. But we don't want to be conceding another goal in the first half. I feel like they're taking them. There, yeah, we punished them there. Look at that. That was one hell of a goal. I just felt like that was coming because they were just so lackadaisical about their passing. They were literally strolling with the ball. Poor Maldini. Who the hell was that to Maldini? It was a terrible pass. Go on. Oh, look at that rush, Stuart. It's really up for this. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Nitty. He's, uh, he's doing a number on their defence in this game. You never know. Ross Stewart might end up becoming the main striker at the club instead of Hoyland at this rate. I mean, I've got Oberfamme as well, who scored loads of goals in the League Cup. And then we just started playing. The man assistant manager needs to make up his mind who's the main striker here. You know, we might have three strikers in double digits by the end of the season, which would be pretty cool. Go on, Rui. Oh, lucky. Right. We've been the better team in this first half. I think they were just very lucky to score a goal at 0.10 xG. Let's see how the second half happens. Let's see how we go. Right, we'll put Penrose on for Redmond. Rice with the cross, beautiful cross. Oh, lucky. All right, we've got a few knackered players Maldini, uh, Hoyland. We'll put Hoyland there, we'll try him out, see if he's any good. All right, they've got a corner. Oh, they got our own, our own player, Durati. I don't know if it's the same Durati, but maybe. I'll have a look in a minute. I can't remember where Durati went to in the end. He might have gone to Motherwell. Go on. Hoyland drives it forward. Uses his pace. Passes it to McTominay. Oh, look at that. What a winner. What a great little goal that is. How is that his first goal? That can't be his first goal. How? Did, why did they say that was his first goal? He's got three goals, unless it's his first league goal. Might be his first league goal. Oh, he hasn't scored for us before, so yeah, it must be his first league goal. Right, they're still, they've still got time to get an equaliser, so we can't just assume we're going to win this just yet. Good save, goalie. Taking your time there, that's what we like to see. Oh. Come on, Diara. No. Oh, come on, ref. Come on, VR. Ooh, yes, get in. Right, 
we're still winning. We'll go second in the league if we win this. Then again, we did start well last season. Look what happened. So I'm not. I think the squad's better though. So I think we do better this season. Oh, what a ball. Go on, Hoyland. Oh, Hoyland. Ay, 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 ay. Maybe Hoyland's future is a attacking midfielder just behind the striker. That means we can play Ross Stewart more. Good way to start the episode. Redman out for a few weeks though. There we go. We've been given 4.81 million just for, for losing. Oh, okay. I think that's the competition we're not involved in. I think it's the, it's the reserves, isn't it? Yeah, youth players or whatever it is. But yeah, 4.1 million for nothing, basically. I'm not going to complain. Sorry, I forgot I'm not supposed to be doing that broad request. I said last episode I don't need to. There's nothing that we can do to improve anything, I don't think. So, yeah. So it makes it a lot easier for us. But yeah, we've maxed out all the facilities, maxed out all the coaching, probably maxed out all the, the amount of staff we can have. Uh, I think we've even maxed out the, the, the wage we can give staff as well. I'll have a look like in a few months to see if there's anything that's changed, see if I can improve anything. But I've got like OCD and I, I check every time I click continue for some reason. I don't know why. Right, we've got sent me the next. We should be the favourites in that game as we're second at the moment. See how we get on. Try and get this done as quickly as possible. Oberfami injured again for four to five weeks this time. So Oberfami is probably not going to be um, starting striker for us because his, his injury record's not the best. Who is he? Uh, do we need another defensive midfielder? I'll trust my DOF on this one. I thought the transfer window would ended. Oh, it's a loan. It's probably a loan, which is fine. The DOF might know something I don't know, and he might think we need another defensive midfielder. Maybe they don't rate Rios. Deli out. Deli Alley out. Not that, he's, not that he's played much the last couple of games anyway. We're now third because Salty just won. I wonder how long it's going to take me to topple Rangers and Celtic. I don't think I'm going to do it this season. I think I think I need a couple. I think I need a season or two. Right, uh, Dewurst, Rui, Welsh, Warner, Penrose, Rios, Hock, uh, Hackney, Caroso, Maldini, Di Rigo, and Stewart. There we go. Well, the looks of it, yeah. The assistant manager prefers Ross Stewart up front to Hoyland. So I think it's just Hoyland's just lose, losing his goal scoring touch. Maybe he'll leave the club eventually. But uh, we'll all, he'll always be a legend at the club. What are you doing there, Stuart? He'll always be a legend at the club. For the amount of goals he scored for us. I still can't believe, I still can't believe that we signed him on loan in that second season I was in charge. Right, nil nil. Not much has happened in this game. Ross Stewart's not playing particularly well. Maybe Hoyland will come on and rescue us. It's a good problem to have to have two good two or three good strikers that are fighting for the first team place. 
Because as soon as one is not playing well, we can just put somebody else, uh, put one of the others on. Ooh. Right, Ross Stewart, I think you're coming off. I think Hoyler needs to come on. James Penrose, you need a kick up the bum because you're playing badly. And if Penrose doesn't start doing well, he'll be coming off in a minute. In fact, I'm going to take him off now. Uh, there's a problem here. I haven't got anybody to put in, in his place, so we'll have to stay on. Right, Carrasso. Go on, Dorigo. Get in. Bit of South American flair there. Get in. 1 0. Let's not. Let's not get. Let's not concede here. Come on. Good save, goalie. Do worse, very good goalkeeper. Right, Maldini's not good. Who are we putting on? Tomalee? Yeah, putting Tomalee on there. Hoyland now. That's fine. Hoyland. McTomalee can come on. Hackney's knackers, we'll take him off. Got Aziz on. Right, eight minutes to go plus stoppage time. Let's see how we get on. Did I just put the wrong player off? I meant to put Hackney off, I think, and I put the wrong. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. No. Oh, sh nearly swore there. Thomas Muller? That can't be the Thomas Muller, can it? Oh my god. The most random transfer ever. Thomas Muller, former Bayern Mini player. If I knew he was available, I'd have signed him myself. He's gone to flipping. Bloody hell, that just blew my mind. Sent me room. And he got a late equaliser for him. That is random. Good though, you'd love to see it. Imagine if that happened in real life. That'd be one of them transfers that just come out of nowhere. Right, go on, Hackney. Ah, oh, nearly. Wow, well, the winning streak looks like it's over. Still second though. Ah, can't win them all, everyone. Right, what I'll do then is I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode and then we'll try and do two more games before this episode ends. And we're back for the second part of the episode. And let's just go for all these. Uh, Boo's gone on loan. Who's he gone on loan to? Preston Athletic, whoever they are. Sorry for Preston Athletic fans, but I am unaware of that team. Never heard of them before. Dewhurst is doing well in training, so we'll give him a little bit of praise. Come on. There we go. Uh, Hackney and Dorigo was in the team of the week. Robertson has gone to Pete Head on loan. I forgot we got on Mari Bell as well, so we're more than covered on the left back and just not, not so much on the right back now. Oh we have got we've got Nathan Ferguson who can play as right back as his thought. Even though they've told me to send him to the reserves. 
Right, big game coming up now. Aberdeen. And now down to fourth. I think it's because the other Scottish teams um, that are better than us are in the European competition, so I suppose their games are a bit delayed. Right then. Uh, um, pretty much the same defence and goalie and midfield. Same, yeah, everything. The team looks unchanged, I think. I could be wrong. Aldini. <gasps> Ross Graham own goal. Is it going to be allowed though? Probably not. Yeah, didn't think so. Would have been a good start though. Diara. Come on, anything happening? Oh, what a ball. Maldini. Get in, Maldini. He's a good little player, Maldini. How much is he valued at now? 12 to 15 million. What's his minimum? He hasn't got a minimum fee, that's good. So uh we signed him, we signed him on a free transfer, and we sold him. Took him on loan for the season and then we end up signing him for seven million. <laughs> but I'm hoping it pays off and uh if we do end up selling him, I hope we make double our money, hopefully, on him. And then you never know, might be able to loan him back in again. Oh, sorry about that. Uh Right, we're two points behind Celtic now, but they've got a game in hand, so technically they've got five points clear of us. Where's Rangers? Rangers have only played five games as well, so they could catch up with us eventually, but let's just keep going. Let's just get let's just take it game by game, but let's get another goal and we can relax a little bit then. Rui. Oh, I thought that was gonna be that second goal then. Got Arrigo, Rios. Oh, loses the ball. Aberdeen looked like to break from this now. Oh, that was a naughty foul. Diara, I think you're going to be... Oh, no. I thought he'd be sent off for that, but he wasn't. Tommy. Um, Arrigo can come off and... We'll give Rocky Balboa a try. Right, Rui can come off. Stephen Welsh there. Uh, that's fine. Aziz is coming on to Maldini. So yeah, we're still second. So that's good. Right, when's our next game? Right, we'll play one more game and then we'll call it a day for this episode. Let's just try and get through to it. See, Oberfami is still the top goal scorer for the season because he just got absolutely tons of goals in that Premier Sports Cup game. Then he got injured for about four weeks. I think by the looks of it, the pecking order now is Ross Stewart is the main striker with Hoyland as backup. And then over Fanny. By the looks of it, from what the assistant managers do. Look at that. I still can't believe Thomas Muller's at St. Mirren. I think that's hilarious. I might try and bring him in, in in January. He'd be a good mentor for the younger players. Right, we signed a player that will come in uh, in January. 
So we, we'll we'll get him in on loan for the season uh, for the rest of the season in January, and then we've got an optional future fee of one point nine. So if we don't want to sign him, it only costs us one point eight million for the loan, which is pretty decent, really, and with some of his wages. In fact, all of his wages. Uh, fairly professional. I just don't think we need a player like that. I don't think we need another central midfielder. I think we're more than covered in them positions. But I trust my I trust my director of football. I, I feel like I know what he, he knows what he's doing. Uh, okay. Yep, that's fine. Uh, lacks the future. No, I'm not transfer listening, Mr. Ray Rovers. Thank you. Right, Livingston next in the Premier Sports League Cup quarter final. Hoyland's up for two or three weeks now as well. So who have we got for our striker options now while, they, while, they, while we've got these injuries? We've got still quite we've still got quite a few really. There's a few of our like fringe players that can play up like Nesbit, we've got Nes uh Nisbit, sorry, I forgot about him. Mardini can play there if it comes down to it. Peruso, Balboa, he'd be a good option, plays as a pressing forward as well. Deli Ali can play if it comes down to it. Callum Patterson, Lewis Vaughan. Uh, yeah, so we're all more, we're all right, we're all right. We're more than covered in the striker positions, and uh, Uber family as well. If he comes back from injury, uh, Lewis Warner's out again. Right, I'm going to rotate this team a bit. We'll go more rotation. There we go. Uh, so we've got Brian in goal, Ruiz right back, Welsh and Davis in centre defence, Diarra's left back, Suter in a defensive midfield position with Campbell, Bowler on the right, Deli Alley in the middle, Dorigo on the left and Stewart up front. Let's see if Deli Alley can uh, bring some magic in this game. Oh, he's not going to play very long, is he? Look at that. He's, he's going to be out. He's going to be off by the by the time the first half ends. Oh, that was a terrible pass. Look at them, they're all over us in this game. Maybe I should have picked my strongest team. I'm not too bothered about this competition though, so I think it's just good just to rest a few players. Look at that. Right, come on, Bowler. Get in, Ross Stewart. Never in doubt. Look at that. Tell you, I has to come off already. Oh, look at that. Lovely little goal. Ah, just slow. Good save goalie Brian doing his best to try and get a place in the first team. All right, let's just sort that out. Is there anything else? That uh, no, Deli Ali, you're staying on. I don't care how tired you are, you're staying on. You're coming off in about the 68th minute, unless you get injured. Go on, Dorigo. 
He loves a shot, he does, doesn't he? Right, free kick, bowler, floats it in. Oh, hits the post, but then we get the rebound, Diara. First goal of the season for us. Right, I can relax a bit now, 2-0 up. Let's take Deli Alley off now, actually. Um, we'll put my Tommy on there. Corner, bowler. Ooh. Go on, Rui. Good little pass, bowler. Bowler wants to get a goal, another goal. No, he wants to get a goal. He got, he had a goal and got disallowed. I forgot about that. He's determined to score in this game. The man possessed. Uh, don't need to take anybody else off just yet. Actually, Dorigo can come off. Uh, there we are. We'll put Palacios on. Then Royce on for whoever is in DM position. I can't remember now. Who was it? Who come on? Oh, for God's sake. Palacios. Campbell. McTominay drives it forward. Rui. Ah, oh, lucky Rui. Back to Welsh now. McTominay. Lost Stuart with a beautiful ball to Palacios. Palacios now. Passes back to Stewart. Stewart finishes it. What a great combination that was then. Oh, Suter. It was Suter that had to come off. Sorry. Right, 3-1. Uh, Good little win there to end the episode. Right then, on that note, I shall leave you lovely people to it. Thank you as always for following. If you're not subscribing already, please subscribe. It makes a big difference. Um, and yeah, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be back tomorrow. All the best. Bye.